Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly cover the next step with my window repairs. Um, basically, as you, if you've seen the first video, if you haven't, I'd, I'd recommend watching that. It just kind of talks you through prepping the window. It also works for doors or internals, you know, whatever with, with rotten timber. Um, so it goes through all of that. What I've done is I haven't actually bothered showing you the the physical resin, the use of the resin. There's loads of great videos by Repair Care on using their resin. Um, mix it well, smush it in, add your pieces of wood. It literally is that simple. Um, the, the nuances and complications are kind of technique with the knives, which isn't actually that complicated. Um, and if you're using shuttering or anything like that to, to kind of border the, the edges. Um, but these splices, they're only kind of really partial splices because they've been added on to existing wood so, it, so really it's no harder than sticking two pieces of wood together with epoxy resin um, that's basically all we're doing all, all i've done here so don't get kind of angst about not being shown that if you literally if you can glue two pieces of wood together that's all that's happened here then we've left it for in this case 16 hours for the resin to go off it's gone off we've got some bits of wood which are kind of a bit too big a bit too long uh, we've got saw marks in them. They, it, looks, it looks pretty tatty at the moment. Um, it's a real quick job to put these partial um, timbers in. Um, it doesn't have to be. You can, you know, you can make these all super thing and take ages to line them up. But I've I found that if I make them a bit bigger, um, it's easier then to kind of shape them either on the bench or even in in situ. So this is what I've done. Um, the blocks of wood are in. These are all slightly proud. There's a lip there a bit wide a bit long um obviously that's a bit proud there because this is in in line here and what i'm going to do now is i've already done it here just for the hand plane block plane and i'm just going to basically plane those down to fit plane the edges i'll cut the lengths afterwards um, all in one go with the circular saw or the, the track saw um, and then once i've done all that all i'm going to do is i'm going to sand the whole lot the resin I want to get all this resin off the, the corner here and make it all nice and neat, ready for painting. Nobody wants to watch me um, planing wood or sanding, but that's that's the next step. It really is that simple. Um, a lot of people were saying it would just be quicker to make new ones. Not a chance. Um, just not a chance. Even if you've still got to remove it if you're going to make a new one. You still got to install it if you're going to make a new one. You've got to paint the whole lot and glaze it if you're making a new one. Um, so to put that rot out, put in some new bits of wood, is never going to be slower than making all this from scratch. So that's sorry, totally barking mad. Um, also, there's a cost implication as well. This this particular property is an old property. Many of the, the ones that I, I do actually are listed or very old. And you're not allowed to kind of replace them with new. They have to be repaired. So there's co cost implication um, with basically replacing all the windows. Imagine the cost of replacing, in this case for this house, um, I think it's 28 sash windows and four doors compared to that it's like pennies pennies on the pound um so yeah it's, it's not it's not quicker and it's certainly not cheaper and even if it was the same time and the same money it's still a lot less disruptive than having to take out the whole window including the frame and everything in the house and then putting it all back it's got to be redecorated and all the rest of it and um, this is far less intrusive which is why it's the method that's used um Pretty much, I think that's about it for, for this. Just, yeah, get the bits of wood in, we'll cut them, we'll shake, sand them, and then afterwards I'll show you the next step, which is then gonna be undercoat and glazing and, and all the rest of it, and then the install, and then you'll see the, the final.